Hi friends and thank you for joining me for today's children's time. We are going to start today by playing a little game called Calm or Worried. I'm going to describe a situation and I want you to show me with your face or body movements whether it would make you feel calm or worried. The first situation, your beloved dog is lost. Would that make you feel calm or worried? You are worried. Hmm. The second situation, you're having a fun time playing with your friends. Are you feeling calm or worried? Oh, you're calm. Another situation, hmm. You are having a delicious pancake breakfast with your family. Are you feeling calm or worried? You're feeling calm. One more situation. Hmm. Outside, there is a huge storm happening. The wind is howling and there's thunder and lightning and rain is pouring down. Are you feeling calm or worried? Well, in our Bible story today, Jesus' disciples are out on a boat in a lake in the middle of a storm. They are not calm. They are scared and worried. So our story comes from the Gospel of Mark. Now Jesus and his disciples are out on the Sea of Galilee in a little fishing boat. Now Jesus is tired from having pre been preaching all day and he has fallen asleep in the back of the boat. Well suddenly a violent storm moves in and the rain is pouring down and waves are crashing over the side of the boat. Jesus' disciples are frightened. So they go to Jesus and they shake him awake and they say, Lord, save us. Jesus' eyes pop open. He sees their frightened faces. He can hear the wind and the thunder and feel the rain pouring down. So Jesus stands in the boat. He raises his arms to the storm and he says, Peace, be still. Instantly, the storm dies down and the lake grows calm. Then Jesus turns to his disciples and he says, Why were you afraid? Have faith, trust me, I will always take care of you. The disciples were amazed by the power of Jesus. You can see I have next to me a small print of a large painting that's in our sanctuary. And the artist was inspired by the story we just heard. So he drew this picture of Jesus in the fishing boat, raising his arms to the storm and calming the sea. I think it's such a beautiful painting and it is called Peace be still. I do have a science experiment for us today to illustrate the calming power that Jesus can, can bring. So what we need for our experiment is vinegar, soda, and oil. Now I need a tall glass for my vinegar. I'm just going to pour a little bit of vinegar in here. All right. That's pretty good. So this is gonna be like us, this glass with the vinegar. Then I've got some soda in my bowl. So I'm gonna put a little soda in there just a minute and I need to get some oil in the cup ready. All right, now, the soda is like all those things that um, make us feel troubled and anxious and worried. And when those things happen, Hmm, look what happens to us. Oh, we just start bubbling over so worried with fears. But then, look at what this oil can do. It calms it down. Like Jesus can calm our fears and our worries. Hmm. Let's close with prayer. And I need to teach you a line. I want you to say, you are with us. So I will say a line and then you answer with you are with us. Are you ready? God of calm, when, when we are afraid, you are with us. When we are anxious, you are with us. 
When we are so worried we can hardly stand it, you are with us. All the time, you are with us. All the time, you are with us. Amen. Well, I encourage you to read this story in your children's Bible this week. It's called Jesus Calms the Storm. Or read it in your Bibles in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verses um, 31 to 35. And maybe you can try that science experiment as well. So glad to have you with me today, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now, and peace be with you.